um, in a lot of ways, it kind of just leaves uh, Sandman just hanging out in the city, really, because uh, at the end there, Peter kind of, you know, said, you know what, I forgive you, man. Sandman just kind of floats off. So, in the future of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, Sandman just hanging out. If there was ever a um, Spider-Man 4, I would say they should probably take advantage of that and um, have Spider-Man and Sandman team up. Could you imagine? I would imagine, though, Flint would want to uh, settle down with his family, spend some time with his kids. He, I guess he, he could, like, make them a sandcastle. That'd be pretty cool. Josh Chandler. Michael Wade. Robert Ty. For a second there, I thought, um... That was the role, so I, I thought like somebody was like the leader of Robert AI. Thought that was a bit strange for a second. Ryan McCulloch, Kenny Trantafalis. Some cool stuff. By the, by the time I probably get, to re get around to recording the first bit of Arkham City, I will most likely have already seen The Dark Knight Rises, because at the time of recording this, it comes out the day after tomorrow. Um, and I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to it. I reckon it'll be good. It's the year of superhero movies, this is. I, I, I do not think that it will top the Amazing Spider-Man for me, like, like I said, that was... That was a movie. Enough said. I, I, I loved... Oh! Whoa. It was good. But yeah, Arkham City next. Then Edge of Time, possibly Amazing Spider-Man after that, and then when it, after that, really, then it comes to the point where I'm so, I'll sort of be kind of running low on Spidey games. i am been thinking of um, I've gotten some requests to do Friend or Foe. I haven't played it or whatever, but it could be something that I check out. I do want to uh, get around to doing a Spider-Man the movie game. Um, with the Green Goblin, like that'd be like a le little let's replay type thing, but with uh, the Green Goblin, could be pretty cool. I imagine that we pro probably are not even halfway done with these credits. Jeff Chin, Tom Wells, Carl Schnurr, Kevin Chu, Amy E. Smith, Dilberman. Hey, what's your name? It's Dilberman. Blair Batanti. Graham Fox. Huh. I want to say I, I, I've seen his name before. I, w I want to say that I remember pointing that out um, in a previous Let's Play. It might have been Shattered Dimensions. Um, I, I want to say that I remember seeing Grand Fucks and uh, pointing that out and laughing. I, I'm laughing with him though. Like I, I understand that he probably gets a lot of a, a lot of flack for that um, and humiliation. I, I, I apologize, Grand. 
I, I think that your name makes you pretty cool. So only now are we getting to some cast stuff, it seems. Oh no, 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 it couldn't be. Because we, we, I, I remember having Tobey Tub Maguire on there. This must be just like some side stuff. Come on. Oh, actually, seeing Josh Keaton's name, that reminds me. I actually watched a couple episodes of The Spectacular Spider-Man. Um, last time I mentioned um, how I was watching, um, I watched an episode of uh, The Ultimate Spider-Man. I quite liked it. Um, I'm also quite liking uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. Um, I never really watched it when, when it was first released or whatever, but uh, check it out a bit. And uh, it's actually quite cool. Um... I, I, I kind of think that Spidey and Peter Parker and stuff like that, I feel it is best when he's in high school. I, I, I don't know, that that is called a, the whole kind of teenage superhero idea, I, I like that. And um, one big thing though that stuck out to me, that uh, I guess is kind of a nitpick almost, but um, I just found so bizarre, right? Is that Harry Osborn is voiced by the great James Arnold, uh, James Arnold Taylor, yeah, I think that, that does not sound right, I, uh, it probably is a big contradiction to be, call be calling him great and then be getting his name wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it, James Arnold Taylor, for some reason it does not sound right, but I'm pretty, th th that's his name, I, I'm sticking with it, that is his name, James Arnold Taylor, um, but Harry is voiced by him, right? And I admire him. I think he's a great. I think he's a lot of cool, good range and all that. But for whatever reason, he voices Harry as if Harry is like a six-year-old. Like he sounds so young. It's strange. And I want to say this. M yep. Getting to the end now. Oh, I love you too. I like that. That is awesome. I love you too. No, I, I believe you. No, no. I, I, re I love you too, really. Nice. <laughs> now I think you're kind of laying it on. But that's that, folks. That's been Spider-Man 3. Now you can see that I, I was doing this via YouTube. Isn't that great? Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more LPs and whatnot. Till next time, I am your host, Lycreed Solijos 9000. And, um, you know what? I love you. No, really. Seriously. Till next time, Liquid is out.